Let's get together, meet and greet. Welcome to the stage. Show some love to the ever-loving sister Quintella Caldwell. <laughs> Chicken now. My name is the ever loving Sister Quintella Carwell, and I'm 87 years old. And, and still likes to get my groove on. Honey. That's right, honey. But you know, young people, I've been praying for y'all. Oh! <laughs> I've been praying for y'all. Honey, I prayed so last Sunday. I got so happy in church, and I went home and smoked me a joint. <laughs> the next thing you know, I was sitting up in my living room talking to Moses. <laughs> well, well, you know, it could have been Miss Edna from down the street, because she kind of looked like Moses a little bit, don't she? <laughs> Every time you see her, her legs are spread like the Red Sea. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to tell nobody. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, but I've been praying for you, young people. You know how the we're going to have to rise up. <laughs> and we're going to have to come together. <laughs> To raise these young children up in the way they should go, ain't that right? Yeah. That's right. Because I'm trying to raise up my little grandson, Dr. K. He's so bad, honey. He's so bad, even Michael Jackson don't want his little ass. <laughs> but you know what uh, making these young children go around shooting folks at them video games, ain't that right? That intentions or whatever they call it. <laughs> but I don't let Dante watch that intentions, honey. When he come over to my house, I put in a video, and I made him watch The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and I sit up there watching it with him, honey, and I fell asleep. <laughs> Next thing you know, he done took a bucket of water and throwed it on my ass. <laughs> Switch out and go tear his little ass up. But he caught a hold at the end of that switch and started swinging me around like I was stuck on the ceiling fan. Talking about you can't help me, Grandma, because I'm a Power Ranger. I say, What? He said, I'm a Power Ranger. I say, No, you ain't Dante. You one of them little crack babies. That's what you is. <laughs> a power ranger you still pee in the bed <laughs> so honey we got the tussling and we got the fighting and i couldn't hardly breathe because you had me in a headlock <laughs> but i faked the heart attack on his little ass i said i got you somebody down 511 so the ambulance could come <laughs> but i thought they were gonna have to do cpa or something like that you know <laughs> so i said dante Go get Grandma her blood pressure medication. He was kind of scared, you know. So he come in there and he give it to me. And when he bent over to give it to me, honey, I kicked him so hard. I kicked him so hard he had Nike on all across his forehead. You think I'm gonna let a little three-year-old run my house? But honey, before I get off the stage, I got to tell you, I, I, my doctor said I got the body of a 20-year-old. A dead 20-year-old, but it was a 20-year-old. 
And now they, Deacon Harris kind of talked to me, honey. I'm going to tell you something. I like young men, honey. If I get a hold to a young man, I'm going to be just like Rosa Parks. I ain't getting up for nobody. You better to recognize, honey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I went to my gang of colleges, honey, and honey, he started rubbing all on my breast, he says. And I felt kind of shame because I kind of liked it, did you know? <laughs> and he had nerve enough to look at my pretty brown eyes. He said, Quinn, Quinn, you know what I'm doing? I said, yeah, doctor, I know what you're doing. Uh -huh. I know what you're doing. You're getting your freaky deaky on. That's what you're doing. <laughs> and then he took his finger and stuck it in my hoot of Macaulay. <laughs> and had nerve enough to look at my pretty brown eyes. He said, Quinn, Quinn, you know what I'm doing? I said, yeah, doctor, I know what you're doing. Uh -huh. I know what you're doing. You're doing a freaky, freaky deaky. That's what you're doing. <laughs> but hold on, baby. That doctor jumped up on this big old ghetto booty. <laughs> and you know this ain't no hokey pokey. <laughs> I like to throw it back at you, honey. <laughs> honey, he had my leg so high in the air, I cut the back of my foot on the ceiling fan. <laughs> hip, I thought I was having a stroke or something, honey. But then, you know, I was throwing it back at him. He looked in my pretty brown eyes. I, you know, that's doggy style, honey. You know. <laughs> that's right, make me mark. <laughs> and then, he looked in my pretty brown eyes, and he said, Quinn, Quinn, you know what I'm doing? I said, yeah, doctor, I know what you're doing. Uh -huh. I know what you're doing. You's catching gangaria, because that's what I come in here for. <laughs> Your question? Well, honey, where I come from, you don't kiss and tell. Because I had relations with President Roosevelt, so you ain't heard nothing about it. <laughs> well, on that note. You have a question? Yeah, Roseanne, you said they were serial killers, right? Right. Well, they say, you know, some people say I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I ain't never killed nobody for no box of cereal, huh? <laughs> no, a serial killer means they do it over and over and over and over. <laughs> That's all right, huh? That's all right. Anyway, I guess that's all we have time for today. Oh, that's a cute baby. Oh, kitchy, kitchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like you. Let's go. Let's go back in the car. But See, you have that swing when you walk in shoes like that. Sure my sister called me. Sure Put it on her belt. Put that shoes on.